Good morning. Hey, it's Wednesday and we're on the Willoway Dock. Let's take a walk through the dock here and look at some great looking plants. You know, it's daylily season and here we're looking at Stellas. You know, we have some really nice 19 centimeter plants here, budded and looking great. Well, next to these uh, beautiful uh, daylilies here, we're looking at some 7 gallon. These are ivory silk. So, you know, our container trees are starting to come on inventory. We got a great selection. Be sure to check with our sales team. Well, here we're looking at that beautiful color. That's ivory halo. And you can see the nice clean foliage on that. Looks good. And then ferns. You know, we got a new crop of ferns kicking in here. These are uh, Japanese painted. You can see the very nice, lush, full plants. And hey, check out this uh, fine line here. This is Ramda's fine line from Proven Winners. Big, heavy, full of three gallons. Let's put it down here. Here's another great summer color plant. This is a big, heavy, two gallon Potentilla Goldfinger. You know, they're just coming out full plants, starting to bud up. They're going to give you some color a little bit later here, but look at that plant. Next to them, we have our three gallon Mugo Pines. You can see how consistent those are. Nice plants. Oh, I'm here early, but the sun's playing a little trick with me here. Um, here we got our seven gallon Japanese maples. Again, very nice selection of Japanese maples. These are Temiukiyama, seven gallons. Two grasses this morning we are looking at our bandwidth, and uh, this is a sterile grass, and uh, very nice full three gallons. Look at those hamlins. Aren't they gorgeous? Those are three gallon hamlins. Hey, be sure to check with our sales team here. We have some very nice. Uh, Arborvitae, you know, if you're doing landscaping, these are really nice full plants here. These are emerald greens. Here we're looking at our three gallon Buxus green velvet. Nice full three gallons. So I'm just going to pan here. We're looking at uh, drift roses and knockout roses. Here you can see the guys have split trimmed. You can see some bud and bloom on those gorgeous plants. Here we have pink drift. This is a newer hydrangea from uh, Proven Winners. This is an arborensis. It's a more tight, compact uh, plant. This is mini mauvet. We're looking at some gorgeous blooms on these. Are uh, coral knockout here, and uh, you know all different stages. So you'll have color on this for some time now. You have open, getting ready to open, and tight bud. Beautiful plants. We're gonna pan over here and look at some more perennials. This is hosta patriot, and look at the size of that. What a value. And again, Coreopsis, be sure to check with our sales team. And you know when Tony will be out doing the video uh, also this week, but I just wanted to show you some of these beautiful perennials we have available. You can see those gorgeous Arborvitae are all over the dock here. More of those bandwidth, and here we have Mr. Bowling Ball. More of those Ramnus fine lines, and here I wanted to show you some Little Kim Hibiscus. And uh, these are two gallons here. It's hibiscus time, guys, and you can see they're loaded with flower buds. Look at the incredible amount of flower power those are going to have. we got a great selection of hibiscus. So here's another grass here. This is a Proven Winter's Cheyenne Sky. And uh, you can see nice, big, full grass here, and it's just starting to color up. Tony featured these on his last video here, and we're looking at uh, Crocosmia. And uh, this is the orange one, and here we're looking at uh, Allium. You know, Allium is another one that gives us great summer color. You can see the buds on these are looking really good. Next to them we have uh, the uh, butterfly uh, plant. This is a Sclipsia tuberosa. Background there we see the uh, hydrangea and this is again Annabelle type. This is incredible as we see here. Not much color on those but they sheared them up. They're going to bust out in color here real soon. Very nice adaptable hydrangea. And here we have our three gallon. This is Buxus Winter Gem. Great value on these guys. We're looking at more of those drifts. And again, you know, they've been sheared, but this is perfect time to get them in. They're loaded with buds, so they're going to bloom on the lot. And then we'll come up here. Look at the flower power on these uh, uh, chiffons. This is Lavender Chiffon out of the Proven Winners group. Can you see all those flowers? And more of those hosta coming into color here. Um, so a lot of people buy them for the foliage, but hey, they got a really nice flower that help out our pollinators. Look at these seven gallon pyramidal uh, boxwood. I mean, we have a gorgeous crop of these sevens kicking in. Here we have green mountains, beautiful. Again, I'm at the door here, so the sun's giving me a little glare, but I think you can see the value in these three gallon nut spruce. I'm gonna pull one of these off. I still think you can see the, the gorgeous plan here. This is Sambucus Black Tower. 
and uh, this one is in the Plants at Work group. It's a narrow uh, cylindrical kind of habit to it for tight spaces. It has that really nice uh, deep rich color to the foliage and it flowers. Sambucus Black Tower. Wow, look at the consistency on those 15 gallon green giants. You know, I had to pull one of these off. These are 7 gallon hollies, guys. Can you believe that? These royal families are just incredible. Nice, big, heavy plant. Look at that. Here's another exceptional color plant. You know, we've been looking at Euonymus for some time. Good selection on these. These are two gallons, guys. This is uh, Gaty, but we also have another, uh, we have Moonshadow and Gold Splash. Good selection of Euonymus. More of those holly, but look at these. This is a uh, three gallon Ilex Galabra Densa. You know, and they shape these up just nice. Look at the consistency of that palette. Really nice plants. There's another great plant we're looking at. Uh, two gallon My Monets. And uh, you can see here they've tightened them up for you. Nice, tight, compact plants. Good color. They'll bloom yet to, uh, soon here. You can see little buds coming on them. Nice plants. I had to pull one of these off. Will you believe that's a three gallon microbiota Celtic Pride? Awesome plants. Every bit, 18 inch. Beautiful. Hey, I wanted to show you these landscapers. Here we have a five gallon Texas Everlow. You can see the nice feather to them. Feathered out a tip an 18 inch for on this five gallon. It's it's nice, heavy, full plants. Beautiful. Five gallon Texas Everlow. Here we have Spirea. You know, and we carry the full Proven Winner Double Play Series. And you can see the consistency on that palette. This happens to be the Double Play Red. And uh, look at that nice, big, heavy, full plant. I'll zoom in there and see the buds. Just getting ready to pop. They're going to be beautiful on the lots, guys, or in the landscape. Double Play Spirea. Well, these are all tied together. <laughs> You're getting ready to go on a truck because the heads on these are just amazing. So this is our 7-gallon Limelight Hydrangea. And you can see the buds on those. Let's just go in here and I'll lift up so you can see. You know, look at those buds. They have a great crop of these. Bud and bloom looking great. Seven gallon hydrangea limelight trees. Look in here. Here we have lavender. You know, we have a new crop of lavender coming on. And this one is Provence. And you can see, uh, Tony talked about those on his last video. But you can see a little heat really made these pop. Well, again, we have uh, Agastache. This one is the Kudos series. Beautiful bud and bloom plants. More of those lavender Provence. Look at that Vladipak Cassandra. Well, I think you can see here the, the value on these uh, three gallon Alberta spruce. I mean, these are seven gallon material size. Beautiful plants. Good value. Another great looking plant. You know, the guys really cracked the code on these uh, three gallon fragrance. Here we're looking at Judd Eye. Look at that nice, big, heavy, full plant. You can see good value on those. Here we have a native. This is Heliopsis Summer Nights. Really nice, full plant. Just set in bud. And then I'll bloom over here. And you can see the, another shot at those drift roses. Very nice, tight, compact plants loaded with buds. Yeah, I had to pull one of these three gallon burning bush off. Look at that, guys. Good value. Here's another very popular plant with us. This is Ilex Crenata Sky Pencil. Three gallons. You know, this is another great plant because a lot of people are still doing some little uh, uh, containers on the patio, easy care. This is Chick Charms. Here, I'll zoom in here. You can see the value on these. Beautiful plants. Look at the value on this one. This is uh, Branford Beauty in a 19 centimeter. Big, beautiful ferns available right now. Here we have a new uh, Spirea in the Double Play series. This is Doozy. And uh, here you can see, trying to get in the sun, you can see the gorgeous foliage color on them. Very nice flower to it. Good value on these. Let's zoom in here and see if you can see the flower. Very nice. Here's another landscape instant effect plant. Here's our 7 gallon burning bush. We've seen the value on the threes. But hey, if you want an instant effect, look at these sevens. A couple more proven winners to show you. Here we have Ilex Fertisolata, and this is the Goblin. And uh, you can see nice, beautiful three gallons, clean foliage, and uh, they're starting to set fruit. Then next to them, we're looking at the Yuki series of Dutzia. And again, look at that, guys. That's a two gallon plant. Good value on those. So you got two new ones to think about. We have Ilex Fertisolata Goblin and Dutzia Yukis. Pan out, we're looking at some five gallon uh, winter gems. But again, I just wanted to elaborate more on the roses. 
we got a nice crop of uh, knockouts and drifts and uh, you know the guys look at the bud and bloom on that guys you just can't beat that here I pulled one of these strawberries and this is for Gary at Tristan and you can see the bud and fruit on these and uh, you know the the whole thing with edible crops in the landscape has has been an awesome trend and you know we have the Fergari here but don't forget we have blueberries, raspberries, blackberries the full line so be sure to check with our team on the edible fruit collection. The grass we're looking at here is a Carex grass and this is Everest and uh, Carex is a, is a very rugged tough grass and has a lot of color look at the size of those 19 centimeters Everest and then you know look at those chick charms you know these have been very popular kicking in now Again, a lot of folks are grabbing these. They're good inside, outside on the patio. Very low care, high impact color. Chick terms. Here we're looking at ostrich fern, 19 centimeter. Really nice value on those. The real steel blue color here is uh, Blue Star Juniper, and these are threes. This adds color and texture to your landscape. Blue Stars. Another old favorite is our Mop Cypress, and uh, good value on these. Look at these two gallons. Here's another favorite on the dock is uh, Fire Chief. And, you know, and this carries right through the season. It has that really unique color to it, tight, compact habit. Beautiful. Duja Fire Chief. Here we're looking at some 25 gallon weeping cherries. Again, we have some gorgeous trees and containers available, as well as our quick turn uh, stock BB. Beautiful, ready to go to the landscape. Here's another landscape ready plant is a 7 gallon Hetz Columnaris. Very nice, uniform. Uh, crop, sheared, ready to go. We've seen the gaities here. We're looking at two gallon gold rush. I mean, look at that, Euonymus. Good value on these twos. Now, in the background there, we're looking at our three gallon uh, Pruna Sestina, and this is another really nice Wajilla. This is in the first edition group. Look at that. That's rainbow sensation. Three gallons. So, here we're looking at more of those sky pencils, but then here we have an awesome looking uh, three gallon. This is Spirea Little Princess. And again, this is a favorite landscape plant. The guys keep them sheared. We're going in and out of uh, color, so they, you know, they shear them back, keep them nice, tight, full, and flowering for us. We'll go in here. Look at the buds on those. They're getting ready to pop. That's when you want them. Spirea Little Princess. Well, here's another great example of our landscape-sized shrubs. You know, here we have our seven-gallon hydrangea pinky winky, and I think you can see again the beautiful sunshine coming in on the dock here but gorgeous big plants bud and bloom we have several varieties in our sevens available ready to go to the landscape and again look at this Penicetum Hamlin coming out big full heavy threes bounce over here you know I showed you the flatted uh, ground cover we also have one gallons available in many of our ground covers so if you need something to go in for that instant effect we got landscape plants for you a mops uh, cypress here we have our three gallons big heavy plants another outstanding value for uh, big landscapes where we have our seven gallon these are war dies look at the size of these guys every bit 24 inch plus got nice feather to them good value on these look at that plant here we're looking at some coreopsis again Tony gave us a, a briefing on some of his picks for the perennials this week but I just wanted to let you know we have some nice perennials starting to come in, bud, bloom, ready to go. Here we're looking at Hypericum, you know, and uh, this series is from first editions coming out here, just starting to show some flower, and flower means fruit. So this one happens to be pumpkin, but we have several colors available. Look at this, guys. You can see all of those flowers starting to pop out. That'll be fruit. This is a great summer color into fall. In the landscape or in the in a container, you know these come out to be, oh, roughly two feet high and wide, nice tight, tidy plant, good color. So we see that beautiful yellow yellow color of uh, Ligustrum vicri, and here's another great landscape plant. Here we're looking at three gallons for Cumbens Nana Juniper. Here we're looking at our uh, trees coming into the dock. Here these are 15 gallon pairs and. Uh, Crab apples, you can see the weather's tied up, so uh, you can't really see the head, but you know, great selection of trees coming available. This 15 gallon size works great for retail or landscape. The guys just brought in some more ferns. I wanted to show you these 19 centimeter autumn brilliance. What a value, guys! Look at that. 
Here's another look at ferns. Here we have a three gallon autumn brilliance. Look at that big fern. You know, this would be another statement plant. Big, gorgeous three gallon ferns. Well, that's a quick walk through the dock this morning. I think you've seen some gorgeous uh, plants here. We have blooming perennials. We have great foliage color. We have outstanding shrubs and trees ready for that landscape job. So be sure to check our availability. Get with our sales team. Geez, I hope we're loading this truck for you.